Montreal Canadian Cole Caulfield couldn't hit a beach ball with his play early at Worlds. He was whiffing and missing left and right while being fed grade A chances. But after the early struggle in the tournament, Caulfield seems to be heating up at the right time. He was smiling and being a pest as he went off for two goals and two assists. His first assist, he forced a turnover in the neutral zone and dropped it back to Brady Kachuk, who sniped it. The U.S. appeared to take a 2-0 lead just a little over a minute later, but it was overturned for goalie interference. But they would get it back as Caulfield fed Zach Wawinski in the slot, who finished on the backhand. In the second, Caulfield gave the U.S. a 3-0 lead while on the power play off a no-look feed from Boldy. Cole finally scored the play they had been running for him all tournament. Lafayette would finally answer shortly after on the rush. Some lazy back-checking here by Zegris. To say I'm disappointed in Zegris' play so far would be an understatement. The way he ended the season, finally healthy and a point-per-game player, I thought for sure he was going to dominate or at least make an impact for Team USA at Worlds, especially with a bigger rink and more room for him to work. But other than one game in which he looked really good on the second line, he looks invisible out there, which for Z is actually hard to do because he loves the camera. Most games, he has played well defensively, and early in the tournament, he looked really good on the forecheck. But I don't know what's changed, other than his inconsistent ice time and line mates, which I'm sure does have an effect. In this game, you could see his frustration start to get to him. He took a stupid penalty that caused a 5-on-3 in a critical point in the game. Luckily, Lafia didn't score on it. I don't even know what he was thinking there. He definitely tweaked something in the last game versus Kazakhstan, so that's probably why he was even worse in this one. I also just realized he didn't play in the third at all. I thought maybe I was just missing him because that's how invisible he's looked. So he may indeed be dealing with an injury again. Him and Jimmy really are the best of friends. If that's the case, go home, rest up, and hit the gym. We need him next season. When he is on, he is the heart of the Ducks. Luckily, Team USA didn't need him as just 15 seconds into the third, Boldy went five-hole. This game had a little drama though as Latvia scored two goals in 16 seconds but Caulfield would bury his second short side. Barabee would get rewarded for an empty netter after he was slashed. The U.S. closed out the group stage with a 6-3 win versus Latvia. With the loss, Latvia is eliminated from the tournament. The U.S. will now take on the host country, Czechia, on Thursday. That's going to be a tough matchup for the U.S. as they face Dostal and Gudis. And now Czechia has some pasta too. And they should be even more hungry coming off their loss to Canada. The Canada vs. Czechia game was a nail-biter that stayed scoreless until a wild third. Cousins scored early on the power play. Though Stahl was screened in front, Czechia would answer seven minutes later from a cross-eyes pass to Kubelik. Canada wasted no time, though, striking back with two goals. Mercer finished a filthy backhand, and Hagel would finish on a breakaway that just barely squeaked through Doe Stahl. Czechia then went into desperation mode, pulling Doe Stahl, and it worked as they scored two with the empty net to tie it. In OT, Czechia got a glorious chance on the power play, but they turned it over and Dylan Cousins found the loose puck in the slot and finished on the backhand. Canada beat Czechia 4-3 to top group A. The Canadians will face Slovakia in the quarterfinals. Though Stahl stopped 22 out of 26 and made some really big saves. Gudis played just under 18 minutes. He did have some big hits, including this one. I really love Czechia's never-say-die attitude. It's going to be hard to root against them when they play the U.S. As for Olin Zellweger in this game, he was back as a 7th demon and only played 3 minutes. Isaac Lundersham played just under 14 minutes and added a goal to Sweden's 6-1 victory over Slovakia. With Latvia losing, Slovakia already claimed their spot to the next round and it showed for Sweden, as they didn't put up much of a fight, including Regenda, who played just under 17 minutes. But Sweden is also very good and remained perfect in the group stage and will play Finland next. The quarterfinals are now set and it all goes down Thursday. Be sure to like and subscribe to hear all about it. Thank you for watching and go Ducks!